It's Monday night, and here we are again at the Maverick Soul Hour with Tommy Marr on Madhouse TV. I am sorry. I apologize for my throat. We had a rough weekend. <laughs> that Zeppelin music will really throw your voice, as you girls know. Uh, and we did a lot of Zeppelin Saturday night. But um, I want to let you know that we have an unbelievable show. I am very excited because, as you all know, Zeppelin is my favorite band that ever lived. So... This is such a special treat for me, and it's going to be an unbelievable treat for you. And I know by the response on Facebook, it was overwhelming. Everybody's very excited about this show because they, these girls are incredible. I mean, they are incredible. But before we get started with them, let me just go through my week a little bit. Um, first, I'd like to apologize to um, Mary Beth and Talk of the Town. We had some um, audio problems last time. Um, we will correct them. We will have you back anytime you want, and we will make it up to you. I, um, I apologize. We did everything we could. But um, you're welcome back anytime. Um, Wednesday night, we went and saw Heart. Um, I got to tell you something. They're better now than they've ever been. Incredible band. Incredible. And her vocals were just like... I mean, I, it was, I think I heard an angel. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an angel. She was amazing. The band was, their new stuff, you know, that old thing, you, the one thing you never want to hear is, uh, hear something from our new album. Well, let me tell you something. Their new album is pretty hot. It was really cool. Um, my band, the Vintage Revolution, we did a show over at the Blue Parrot um, Saturday night with Romeo and Janine. Um, we had some special guests there. We had Neville Chesters, which you all know, road manager for Cream, Hendrix, um, The Who, first man to ever touch a Marshall 100, um, first guy ever in the world to really? handle a, because Pete had to make it. Make it. Um, so, Neville, thank you so much for gracing us Saturday night, and you will be back next Monday, too, by Pop to the Man. Um, we also had Miss Senior America at the um, show, Miss Gail King, Mrs. Gail King. We had the Madhouse crew there, uh, and Tom even did a live stream for us there. And it was actually when we did the Zeppelin stuff, too, actually, which we, we didn't plan. I didn't even know he was doing it. So um, that's another thing. And then being the grandpa that I am, I have to give my grandson, Jaden, another, pff, boy, oh, boy, man, you kicked some butt on Saturday, let me tell you, Sunday. Incredible football game, Jaden. You are amazing. I love you. Um, so we're going to go to a quick commercial. And I'm sorry. I apologize for the little late start. The girls got stuck in Manhattan. And if you've ever been to Manhattan, you know what it's like. So um, we're going to take a quick commercial break. And we're going to come back here with a group that is going to amaze you. And I mean, I, I promise you, they will amaze you. And nobody's a bigger Zep head than me. Except maybe Romeo out there. He's every license plate he has is Zeppelin. <laughs> so um, we'll be right back. We're going to take a quick commercial. We'll be right back. Hang in there with the Maverick Soul. where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail centre. 
Pods hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. See any discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. B&M Performance Cycles, 439 South Main Street, Messina, New York. We handle all parts, accessories, and do all repairs. We can custom build your bike for show or hot rod. We also do New York State inspections on all motorcycles. B&M Performance Cycles, come see us today. back live with the Maverick Soul and boy are you guys in for a treat tonight let me tell you I'm in for a treat tonight uh, ladies and gentlemen I just would like to introduce this super group world world known backed by the actual Zeppelin group I mean uh, well we'll get into that but let me let me just start off by introducing everybody um, Stephanie Paines she's the lead guitarist she's the Jimmy Page of the group we have Lisa Harrington, Squires, Squires John Bonham, <laughs> and, and believe me, she could play like John Bonham. Megan Thomas, mandolin, bass guitar, keyboards, and Shannon Conley. Hey. Mr. Plant in <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Plant. This is an honor. <laughs> That's I beautiful. Love it. Mr. Plant herself. Can I use that? That should be a t shirt. You got it. Uh, okay, well, we have, a, we have a special phone call, I think, believe it or not. It's Mr. Plant. You have the herself. Maverick Soul? Uh, it's the little Brit. <laughs> Mr. Neville Chesters. Hey! Oh. Yes, you speak of the yeah. devil. How are you, buddy? Neville the devil, that's me. I'm a <laughs> guy, and you, you, your voice is back. And oh, yeah. You sound good, and you look brilliant, and the girls look wonderful. Oh, thank they you, are. Neville. Thank you. I am Thanks, not going to take it with time. I want to thank you for first Saturday night, and, um, huh. you know, I'll talk to you very soon, but, uh, I'll see you soon as well. Well, I want to I want to thank you for coming down Saturday night, and uh, it was like you were a uh, super rock star there. Well, you, look, you, I'm taking your time up with the girls. Go, go, go <laughs> into the guests. <laughs> well, did you want to say hello to the girls or wish them any luck or anything? Just a, mate, just a, a big hi to everybody there. Because this man, hi, this Neville. is the man. Hi, and I'll talk to you soon. And I'm watching you. You, I, you got to hook up with them. You, you got some <laughs> what, stories for them. That's for sure. I, I'd love to. I he's got a, he's hung out with Zeppelin Tell a lot. Tell marshals need minding. Uh, oh, did you hear that? <laughs> did you hear that, Neville? All uh, right. Steph I will talk to you later. Neville, Neville. Yeah? yeah. Stephanie said her, her marshals need some minding. Oh, I'll be over there with a whip. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? It's exactly what they need. All right, my man. Thanks so much for calling in. It's always a pleasure. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I love you all, and uh, talk to you later. Love you too, buddy. Be good. Bye-bye. <laughs> and thanks again. Bye. Bye. That guy is such a special <laughs> man. It's, it's amazing the people he's worked with. And I mean, he lived with Brian Epstein when they did wow. Sgt. Peppers. Every night, Paul McCartney would bring the tapes from the day, and him and Brian would sit down. And, wow. wow. It's the golden era, he, really, isn't it? <laughs> unbelievable. <And it's, laughs> I mean, everybody. So how did this all start? I don't want to go. I don't want to waste time too far going back because I want to bring everybody right up to date with you guys. So, um, when did we get started? How did it start? Did you always have a Zeppelin uh... fetish? Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, you know, I I always thought that it was just me being into the music and having this great idea of how I want to just start this band because I just want to play the music. But now I'm sort of revising that, and I actually think that Jimmy Page may have put a spell on me. 
So I mean, that's possible too. There's but a song out there. Like there that. is there, or there should be. <laughs> um, that's right, there is. Uh, but no, really, it was very innocent, you know, about uh, 2004, which is almost, yeesh, 10 but, years but ago, but nine years, years ago. ago yeah. um, I, I just, I really was listening to a lot of Led Zeppelin. It wasn't something that I had been sort of um, really captured by completely my whole life. I, I actually came to it a little bit later it after I played. In, yeah. You know, other things like, you know, it's, I'd listened to a lot of Hendrix and yeah. was copying him yeah. first and stuff. But I mean, um, I think that the music, it, it really speaks to this sort of timeliness of the music. That in that, you know, eight years ago, listening to Led Zeppelin, it sounded so incredible. Uh, as if, you know, it was still like better than most of the things that it were around. Still it still so, is. So, yeah. but it didn't sound weird or out of step or out of time or anything like that. It really was just still fresh and there you could hear even more nuance in it and even more. Right. So I think that that was really something that as a more seasoned musician I, um, I was sort of blown away by. I think, I think yeah. a very special part of Zeppelin, which I don't think many, many bands have done, is you've never heard the same song twice mm. by Led Zeppelin. Mm. So every show you went to was a different show. Yeah. Every, every time you heard that song, it wasn't that same song. Right. It was different. Right. Sometimes yeah. it was better, sometimes it might not have been as bad. But they, to me, I mean, they are so in my soul. I mean, because first of all, I saw them live five times. And then I saw the Page and Plant in 99 yeah. at uh, Jones Beach. Yeah. And I, I hate to say it, but they were actually better. I mean, the drummer and the bass player, I forget their names, but they were straight. Right. Yeah, they're and sober. They were and they yeah. so un. They were a better place. I never expected it. I'm, we were in a, actually in a studio, right. and somebody said, let's just give it a shot. And we went over there, and we got in. And we sat in a handicap thing, because no handicapped people were there. I couldn't even believe what I saw, because yeah. I didn't want to ruin what I had sure. seen as a kid. And um, it, was, it was just mind-boggling. Right. I that, actually this wept movie, at that show. I actually you were at that show? I, I went to the show in Houston, and I actually cried during a quarter. It's, I'm, I'm with you on that. No, I, I didn't. It was just my eyes watering. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, well, that, she's that's, too manly no, to see, cry. I was seriously, <laughs> like moved by that's, that whole thing. Yeah, that's what great. this band does. That pe yeah. I mean, even people that aren't into rock or classic rock or anything. I mean, who who doesn't like cashmere and uh, stairway mm -hmm. and well, I'm just strings, the drums, everything? I mean, my my favorite is since I've been loving you. Well, yeah, and I love singing that well, song. Well, I just I have to tell you. I mean, I just went to the premiere of Celebration Day, which of course was a concert film done of their one reunion. I'm afraid it's the only one. Yeah. But um, at the O2, which I actually was there as well. I'm very blessed. Well, but, you are blessed, let me um, tell you. And, uh, you know, I cried during that in 2007, but the film as well, it really captures it so beautifully, and you'll cry again because uh, it really a, is the I'm same sort of... I'm not one of those men that are afraid to cry. Well, the thing, <laughs> and there not. were people in the Good audience that were completely overwhelmed, but I think it is what it, what it is about them is that, and, and about some of the groups of that era, not, a, not even a lot of them, but it, they were, when they got on stage and played, they were in the present. And the art was in the present, and it was a complete expression. And that is how they still play, you know, when they're together and playing. And there's something about that it, it, that is, it will never is go really away. a different thing than... Yeah. So much of what well, you see. Well, I think now, Jimmy you know? Page was. I mean, I, I I remember. I'm sure you know it too. When they when they interviewed, I, I think it was. Uh, um, I, I actually forget who. I think it was Plant. And uh, he said that 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 the the first time they met, mm -hmm. and they didn't even know what they were going to play, and they just did some heavy blues tune, and they knew instantly right. because I've been in a million bands. It's the chemistry. Right. And I mean, you know, like, I mean, Jagger tried to go out on his own. I mean, the guy is phenomenal, but he doesn't do what he does with the Stones, you know. I mean, it, it's that, that band, Zeppelin, will be around for a thousand years. It will never go away. Yep. It, it will never go away. Right. If, it, as long as people have brains in their heads right. or ears. Um, it's the classical music yeah. of our time. Exactly. Yeah. It'll yeah. be the Beethoven, yeah. Bach, Mozart yeah. of, of our time. Well, you know, I did come from that time. And <laughs> Bach and Beethoven? You no, went pretty well, good, actually. My other life. But um, my f other than, well, I tell a story. You could have, 
my my famous my famous rock story is sitting down with Jimi Hendrix for four hours oh, talking to him. Wow! And That's literally amazing. just sat there. I was fifteen years old, but it was it was in a gener generation in in New York, and my I won't go into the story how I how it happened, but sat down with him right across the table, talked to him for four hours, then he jumped up on the stage with Buddy Guy and Jan. Oh. But, <laughs> but, just so you're you know. You're killing us, Tommy. Really, you're killing us. God. It gets even better. The generation <laughs> later became Electric Ladyland. Oh, wow. The studio you were in? Yeah. The, no, the, the, the club. It was a club. Oh, it was a it was club. Called, oh, oh. It was an old On 8th old, Street. Yeah. Oh. Yes. And, that later and it's still Electric Ladyland. Yeah. So um, wow. we did our first. Well, you were there. in the thick of it. Oh, we recorded my first our concert, first record other than the Cafe War and all that stuff, yeah. was Woodstock. Yeah. Uh, it was my first concert. Wow, so that's pretty. Cool. All right, we're gonna go take a quick commercial. We're gonna come back. I want to show you, because in the studio here we're gonna do some acoustic stuff. But I do want to show you just how amazing these women are. They are. I can't wait to show you. Let's get this commercial over with. We'll be back with the Maverick Soul. Joe from Bug Busters of Long Island. He'll take care of your problem. That's great. Hi, I'm Vinny, owner of VMD Electric. Family owned and operated since 1996, serving all in Nassau and Suffolk County. You can call us anytime, night or day, at 631-669-6915 for all your residential and commercial needs. Here are some photos of our current projects. back with the Maverick Soul and this is one of my most exciting shows I'm telling you I am so excited about this I've seen all their videos there they are Zeppelin and the, what, what I really appreciate about them is and what I don't appreciate about Zeppelin is that we almost had them and then plant did his little curly tour I hate to say that but 
<laughs> they were ready to go. We were all waiting and so excited for them to go. And they were in the studio. And you know, we won nine Grammys, though. Yeah, um, what 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 I <laughs> he went off to win nine Grammys. <laughs> yeah. and what, who, who needs that? It's then he left separate. that band. He went to right. another band. <laughs> now he's got another one. Yeah. But um, right. what I what I appreciate about you guys is you really bring that. You keep it alive. I've seen a zillion Led Zeppelin tribute bands, mm -hmm. and I and I'll tell you, I seen one. I, I won't mention their name. But it was right over here somewhere. They play a lot around here. Third song, I was out of there. Yeah. Out, gone. Um, these guys, ladies, they they keep that band alive. Like, I mean, it's it's Zeppelin. It's just you know you might have to squint <laughs> a little bit. Although you do you do kind of do that plant thing pretty good. Thank you. I always just like the way I I, I tell people don't do do all that stuff. Do like Robert Plant, just flicker. Yeah. You just have to flicker, you know? And that's what made it. You could never take your eyes off the guy, and I'm a guy. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just an amazing entertainer, you yeah. know? And I think that you guys have personified Zeppelin better than anyone in the world. I really, truly believe that. I, and I'm, not, I'm Thank not blowing you. any <laughs> smoke. And believe me, Thank I'm a Zeppelin much. nut. Yeah. That, but that's why it means so, that much. That's that why I believe more. that Thank if you. they want to sit home, I know they all don't want to sit home, but right. if one <laughs> wants to sit home, you guys should be out touring in big arenas and playing their music because it is their, it's them, you know, and that's what is so exciting to me. You know, I wouldn't have you here if you were just another Zeppelin tribute band. And not that I'm a big deal, but I wouldn't believe in it. I believe in you guys because I think you're incredible and you, I mean, <laughs> you are the talk of the town. I got to tell oh, you. Yeah? Whenever this band is mentioned, whenever this band is mentioned, the first thing I hear is, "She's Bonzo. She's Bonzo." <laughs> I mean, you know, it's crazy. Thank you. So, um, I do, I do want to, you know, you guys. Now, did everybody start together, or did anybody come in late, or you had a couple changes? Yeah, right? a couple of changes over the years, but I, but you know, I it seems it's t it's really been an evolution is really what it's been because I think that as we were saying the music is so deep and it there's so much to it and and even after eight years of playing it you still hear new things in it all the time Absolutely. so in the same way the band has evolved musically um, soulfully musicianship wise you know yeah. I mean we don't really call ourselves a tribute band at all no I, I don't and I and we you know we always have these discussions I, I with people them. You know, because I think that tribute bands really, the idea is to impersonate right. a group, right. you know. And I think that That's what I don't this like. is what we don't do. We don't yeah. impersonate the group. We're, right. we're channeling the music and we're sort of she interpreting the music. As That's we're. what I think <laughs> about you. And I think <laughs> that that is, is really the difference. It's, it's we bring ourselves as musicians to it, as if we were classical musicians. And then when we play it, we emote through it. Properly, authentically, you can't just throw it all out the window and play like Jimi right. Hendrix, but you have to, or whoever, but I think that there is, so there's a lot of discipline, but when we get on the stage, we play with each other, we play communicatively, passionately, and then all of that stuff just disappears and it's just about the music and about the power and the passion and the communication, that's and why, that and every, and every, is that's what why you're about. here. But that's and what they here. were. That is really what they were. But you can't, you know, I mean, whether you wear dragon suits or not. Well, like it's that, the thing that the, the thing I got to <laughs> tell you, the thing that turned me off about this band, the guy, I think he was like from Levittown or something, and he's like, yeah, <laughs> well, we that's just, one we strike just go, already. We yeah, just, no. we <laughs> just, but he yeah, started the show with. I'm the North Shore. Yeah. We we just got off the plane at JFK, and I'm like. Oh, oh you you've gone way too far <laughs> That's now. That's funny. You know? and, but like uh, you had said earlier about uh, with Zeppelin, you, you never saw the same show twice. Right. That's how we try and do it. Yeah. Too, it? We bring the Go live experience. We, we do the improvs. We, you know, okay, what can we do this time that was different than last and time? And it probably just happens too, right? Because yeah, it's absolutely. your soul. It's organic. I mean, and that's what makes it so good. That's what, I mean, Jimmy Page, I mean, now Jimmy Page is my favorite guitar player. He's not a lot of people's favorite guitar player. Right. But yeah. I liked him because he was sloppy. Because he wasn't a note for note, he was just the guy. The guy took it to a whole nother level 
a completely different. They all talk about Hendrix, and Hendrix was good, but Hendrix was very sloppy. Where, where Jimmy, when he was sloppy, he was still amazing. I mean, the guy, I mean, with the, with the wah, wah, wah thing, you know yeah. I mean? Theremin, yeah. I mean, the guy was, a, he's a genius. Yeah. I mean, he's, even, even like in, in Whole Lot of Love, when you hear Plant in the background, I don't know if you know that story, but Paige was interviewed, and, he, and you know, and, and where Plant's going like, la, 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 la. That bled through. He was doing the vocals in another room, mm -hmm. and that bled through, and Jimmy said, I'm going to leave it in. Right. You know, so little things like that, yeah. people would never right. they'd go get that off there. You well, know some I mean? people think his even more genius is in his producing because he produced oh. all those records. But I'm, but I think the thing about Page really is just the breadth of his knowledge Essence. and his playing and his styles his and Essence. and you know compared to a lot of other players, he just had so many tools to pull from that that's partially why the music is so well uh, interesting well, and it's so and, you know. Um, Diverse, you know. I can't think of it. But they were the they were at, at fifteen. They were the great two greatest uh, studio musicians Jeff in the Beck? world. No, no. Um, Blind Faith. Eric oh, Clapton. Clapton. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. The other, the other keyboard one. player. Oh. Winwood. Steve Winwood. Steve Winwood. The two of them were like yeah. they were the men at fifteen. Right. So um, crazy, right? Imagine that. <laughs> Megan. You gotta be quiet. I know. I know. Now, how tired. long are you with the group? Tired. Uh, you know, like this is my fourth year. Mm -hmm. It's something like that. January is it, will be four years. Is it Same. like living a dream when you're out on stage? It is. It's, it's amazing. It's really fun. What I love is that, you know, you are you weren't there when they were there, mm -hmm. but you're there now. Well, I like yeah. that. I, you know, like I. I no, I I could see the spirituality with you guys that yeah. you, I don't see no, with other people. And I, I was raised <laughs> on the music, so it was cool, because I actually never like tried to play ever a Zeppelin song. I never played it until I heard they might need somebody. And so learning the songs, like I knew the songs, every single part of the songs, except for maybe the lyrics. I never learned mm -hmm. to, to sing it. Well, but he's it not hes not an easy guy to pick up on lyrics either. <laughs> well, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Which you would know. Yeah. You just gotta let the lyrics go. <laughs> but, you, but you can make up your own with him too, because the people don't yeah. know because every song was different. Right. Yeah, know, he sung it. He changed too. it around. <laughs> I don't he think did. he remembered his own lyrics. So you can't really make a mistake. So <laughs> that's right. But um, he was always mixing them up for him. I I, I don't want to really. Um, oh. It, well, like, what, well, what I was just going to say, I was just going to say with Whole Lot of Love, just to get back to, you mentioned it, we're actually recording all of these songs now, Whole Lot of Love in particular, because we're doing, we, la, we did um, all of Led Zeppelin 1, which we recorded from start to finish. And have on sale. I got to stop you. I got to stop. I, keep your thought. I got to stop you. Okay. Though. I just did a tour. Or we did a show at Randy Pratt's house. I don't know if you know Randy Pratt. I don't. But okay. he's, he's another G. But he's, he's. We did a tour of his house. It called Electric Randy Land. He goes, this is so-and-so's guitar. Jimmy Page has got that stuff. So got everybody's guitar. Then he goes, you see this amp? And he had that, that Vox amp. He goes, that's the original amp that Page used on, on Zeppelin 1 and their first U.S. tour. And if you can go, you go back and watch that show, you can. Oh, wow. I start hugging it and <laughs> touching the dials. And I'm like... I can't believe that's the he actual fiddled amp. his dials? I didn't want to drop I, I, I don't think it it's a there. Vox. It's another one. I know. It's this it, thing. Yeah, and the head's on top. Yeah, I, I, I shouldn't tell you what it is because it's our secret. But, uh, yeah, we're using that, too. But it's... um. But now we're doing Led Zeppelin But we are two. doing two. <laughs> that, he used that mostly on two. On one, actually, he used the Supro amps, and the, that's all, the, all they of the hated three documents. They hated them. The Supros? No, no, the Voxes. The vo well, no, Jimmy used the Vox a lot. But they didn't like it. Well, Not watch, watch well, he that did show. use it a bit watch live, but, yeah, but, um, but it's, it's really amazing to try to recreate a lot of these things with the, we use all vintage equipment yeah. on the Led Zeppelin 1, which we have. And that's one reason why they are going to play acoustic, because it's, it's such a hassle to get this yeah, stuff here. We, we have to get the I don't, I, 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 I'm really hating that we don't have a three-hour show here. <laughs> I see the note. I have it right in front of me. Where can people buy your CDs? Uh, they can go to our website. It's available at Amazon. They can download what it. What the website iTunes. is? 
The website is www.leszeppelin.com. It's just like lead, but with a Z, Les Zeppelin. So two Zs. Okay. Two Zs. L-E-Z. -E 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 -P -P. Right. And what shows? With an E. Any shows coming up? Shows coming up. Yeah, we're playing in New York City at the Highline Ballroom on October 25th. It's a Thursday night. And we're going to yes. do all of two in its entirety. All of two. Really? Yes. yes. Start to finish, plus we other just, we fun just stuff. Two. Maybe mm -hmm. we could get some tickets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see you later. And then we're touring all over sort of the East Coast through November. We're doing a lot of And that's all Boston. on your website, too. Yeah. So all, all on your our website. Sign up for our mailing list. We're starting a fan club, too. And yeah. So well, can I be the first member? Yeah, you can be. Yeah, yeah, you can be the <laughs> first member. I really want to be the first member. All right. I do. That's how much I believe in you guys. You get the mail. I do. President Tommy. <laughs> I, I will be the president, and I'm no <laughs> sissy boy either, but I will. Um, I, what was the video? We want to. We, you, you guys want to go over and go do a little acoustic stuff for us? Sure. Um, and shows coming up, you kind of went over, so, and you can get them on the website. Um, yeah. I, I want to, while they're going to go over and set up for their um, acoustic act, we're going to show you a uh, video. First, we're going to do a commercial, and we're going to show you a video of them electric, and they are going to blow you away, and then they're going to show you just how good they are as musicians and talented people. And I love them already. <laughs> so we love you. We, we will love be you back too, Tommy. <laughs> in a minute with the Maverick Soul. So get ready for some good stuff. Get tight. You know what I mean. We'll be right back. <laughs> Suffolk County Gold Refinery for the highest paid prices for your gold, diamonds, and jewelry with cash on the spot. Visit their showroom for unbelievable prices on fine jewelry and engagement rings. 71 Nobob Boulevard, Farmingdale, 631-777-CASH. Suffolk County Gold Refinery for the highest paid prices for your gold, diamonds, and jewelry with cash on the spot. Visit their showroom for unbelievable prices on fine jewelry and engagement rings. 71 Nobob Boulevard, Farmingdale, 631-777-CASH. For the highest paid prices for your gold, diamonds, and jewelry with cash on the spot. Suffolk County Gold Refinery, 631-777-CASH. I was nervous about selecting the perfect paving stones for our project. There are so many choices, I didn't want to make a mistake. After all, it is our home. It had to be the most beautiful patio. An exquisite driveway. A stunning backyard oasis. I chose Astro for the largest selection. The best prices. The magnificent displays. The finest service and the expert advice. I chose. I chose. I chose. Astro. Astro Masonry and Supply. Call 631-242-2567 or go to astromasonry.com.
ladies and gentlemen, it is with my sincere honor to take you back in time in reverse. You're going to be in reverse. <laughs> but I am going to bring you back to a time when I was a young guy. And this is the music that we loved and we still love to this day and will never go away. Ladies and gentlemen, I graciously present Les Zeppelin to you. Thank you. With a woman I'm kind, smoked my stuff and drank all my wine. Made up my mind, gonna make a new start. Go to California where they're naked in my heart. Someone told me there's a girl out there. Loving her eyes and flowers in her hair Jet plane, never let them tell you that they're all the same. Oh, the sea was red and the sky was gray. I wondered how tomorrow could ever follow today. Mountains in the canyon started trembling, shake. Children of the sun began. Seems that the wrath of the God got a punch on the nose and it started to blow. I think I might be sinking. So throw me a line if I reach you in time. I'll meet you up there with a path. And cries and sings. La la la. Try to ride a mare in the footsteps of dawn. Try to find a woman that's never ever been born. Standing on my hill in my mountain of dreams. Telling myself it's not as hard, hard, hard as it
Did I tell you? Did I tell you? I, I, I don't even, I'm speechless. I'm just going to let them do another one. I'm speechless. Rock and Tommy is speechless. <laughs> the Maverick Soul. The Maverick Soul, speechless. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> this is Maverick Soul. You're my Maverick. Ooh. I've never been anybody's Maverick before. All right. Okay. What are we doing? Can't play with you no more I don't know how I'm gonna do what mama told me My friend, the boy next darker side of town And when I'm out I see you walking Why don't your eyes see me? Could it be Another game to play What did mama say to me? That's the way Oh, that's the way it ought to be That filled your eyes And all the fish that lay in dirty water died Have they got you here, no But all that lives is born to die And so I say to you that nothing really matters But all you do is stand and cry I don't know Again, at what you see, is that the way it ought to stay? That's the way, oh, that's the way it ought to be. Oh, don't you know? 
How beautiful was that? Listen, I'm going to go to a quick commercial. They're going to come back and kill you with another one. That's it. <laughs> I started in the cabinet business when I was nine years old. Craftsmanship is really the key. When it's up game, I feel like going home now, now, now. Fails and turns to luck, words I'm making it, it seems. Sure you have equipment that is precise. Down, hip, and higher, fire. These cabinets, these pieces of furniture are now becoming art forms, you know, and these kitchens are becoming art forms. And it's something that the clients have and they can appreciate and enjoy every day.
What is Grand Prix Motorsports? It's a full-service motorsport performance and service shop. It's West Coast custom style, East Coast pricing, old-school customer service, custom-built bikes, all-out performance upgrades, and free towing, too. Grand Prix Motorsports is automobile, motorcycle, jet ski, and ATV, performance, service, and repair. It's online at GrandPrixMS.com. Grand Prix Motorsports, Long Island Avenue, Deer Park. back with the most outrageous group I've had. Unbelievable. I am having the time of my life. I just wish this was a five-hour show. I really do. But we're going to do one more, and then we're going to come back and talk a little bit. And then we're going to sadly end this. But I love these girls, and I hope you do too. So, Les Zeppelin. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Maverick Soul. <laughs> <laughs> took her bow and then she turned to go the prince of peace embraced the gloom and walked the night alone dance in the dark and night singing the morning our course rising force tonight time will tell us all I'm waiting for the angels of Avalon, waiting for the eastern glow, the apples of the valley, oh, oh the seeds of happiness, the ground is rich from tender care, which they do not forget, oh, Face is red. red. Dance in the dark at night. Sing in the morning. The sky light. is filled with good and bad, which mortals never know. Oh, oh, Dark eyes on the sunrise, waiting for the eastern glow. The pain of war cannot exceed the woe of aftermath. The drums will shake, the castle walls, the ring rates right and black. Oh, The face so cold. cold. Dance in the dark.
dark at night Singing the morning light Dante rules are written gold To bring the balance back Bring it back Bring it back At last the sun is shining The clouds of blue roll by with flames from the dragon of darkness, sunlight blinds his eyes. Come, 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 come. First of all, you guys got to go to YouTube and watch this young lady play the drums because <laughs> it is unbelievable. I really well. But I want to I wanna personally thank you guys for bringing me back home because you brought me back home. I, it was very emotional for me. And uh, I, I, I just want to say one thing to all of you big club owners and arenas. There is not a stage, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm being very serious, and... You could judge me all you want. I really could care less. But there isn't a stage in this world that's too small for these guys or too big for them. They could play anywhere. They could play the garden. They could play anywhere. So all you producers, you bidders, uh, booking agents, <laughs> Madison Square Garden, I don't care, the Meadowlands, you're insane if you don't book this band. I'm telling you, you're insane. And you guys, you're insane if you don't pick up a CD. And I can't even thank you possibly enough for coming here and gracing our stage. You guys are just thank you. Thank amazing, you. amazing, thanks, amazing. Thanks, it's thanks been. An honor. <laughs> doesn't she look like Meryl Streep when she was 20? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I'd love to play her daughter one day. <laughs> we can arrange we'll that. We'll make that happen. <laughs> we own a TV station here. <laughs> Tom, can we get on that right away? Uh, I'd also like to thank all of our fans for watching. I promised you a treat today. Facebook was lit up like neon signs about this. And uh, I hope you, we brought you what I promised we would bring you. And um, like I said, book in people. Shelly, Shelly out in L.A., you know who I'm talking to. This is the act. Book this act. We've got to go. The Maverick Soul's got to hit the old trail. So, again, ladies, what an extreme pleasure. Extre very talented people. Honestly, Thank you so much. loved it, Pleasure. loved it, Thank loved it. You. And uh, we love you. Everyone have a blessed week. Peace to all of you. Health, wealth, whatever. You don't even need the wealth. Just have the health and the happiness. <laughs> that's all that matters. You can so. put the wealth in. That's okay. <laughs> okay. We'll throw that in, too. Hey, <laughs> all right. So it is the end of the day. And uh, the Maverick Soul is about to put the old Maverick hat on. Ooh. And... Uh, Join the uh, Led Zeppelin crew. Dashing. Do you hear what she's playing? <laughs> Let's.
Good night, everybody. We'll see you next week with Neville Chesters. We love you guys. Go see this band. Sorry. That's how I feel. Oh, <laughs>